Thanks, Madison. I'm here at Fenway Park where there's a mixture of emotions about next week's season opener on April 1st. While some fans are looking forward to the in-person experience, others not so much. I don't think it's like an urgent need to get back in there, but I definitely think that as pe more people are getting vaccinated, it's a nice way to start getting back to reality. On Monday, March 22nd, Massachusetts entered phase four of its reopening plan. As a result, Fenway Park is now able to welcome back fans at 12% capacity. I think if you were to let all 100% back in there, I think there could be some problems. Doing it slow is, is way better. I'd rather do it slow and, and gradually work into it than to have everybody in there at once and then have another outbreak. Former live entertainment employee Matt Melly agrees. I used to be in live entertainment, so obviously I'm very sympathetic to that cause. It's really, really hard for those uh, people right now. So I'm for opening as much as we possibly can, as safely as we can. Unfortunately, taking it slow comes at a higher price. It's going to cost you a lot of money if you want to go see a game right now. Our tickets were $250 a piece. Normally we wouldn't pay that much because we're used to paying like 50 bucks. The price should be slower so people can come again and, and enjoy the game. However, after many months of quarantine, majority of fans say the good outweighs the bad. We need this. We need to entertain about everything that has been gone the last couple of years. This is the Red Sox. They're worth it. This is Jillian Kay signing off for EIV Evening News.